the power of the Holy Spirit is working in us. And how does the Holy Spirit work? Number two, in visions and dreams. In our visions and dreams. Acts 2 verse 17. Can we all read this verse together? Let's look at the screen. Let's all say together now. And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out of my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. Visions and dreams. It's the language of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit can speak English, Chinese, Japanese, Bahasa Indonesia. The Holy Spirit can speak Tagalog. The Holy Spirit can speak in, even in tongues. But His favorite, preferred language is vision and dream. Your young man shall, shall, shall see visions. Your old man shall dream dreams. That means young and old. That is how He communicates with us in our visions and dreams. One Christmas Eve, Dr. Cho went to the hospital to pray for one member who was hit by a taxi. And because of excessive bleeding, he fell into a deep coma. When he reached the hospital, the doctor said to Dr. Cho, say, medically speaking, this man is hopeless. He came in too late. He bled too much. We opened up his stomach and we found three areas in his intestines were severely damaged and filled with excrement and dirt. It's hopeless right now. There's really very little we could do. This man is going to die. Dr. Cho knelt down beside him and prayed, Lord God, please just give me five minutes. Wake this man out of his coma for five minutes so that I'll do my best and try to help him. All of a sudden, this man opened up his eyes, struggling, gasping for air. He said, Pastor, please help me. I'm dying. Immediately, Dr. Cho knew God had given him a five-minute window to help this guy. And he immediately said, Brother, please don't say you're dying. I want you to see yourself alive with your wife and your children. I want you to see yourself going to the office and running a successful business. I want you to see yourself admired and honored by your peers, respected in the community, and live a happy, peaceful life. I want you to see yourself going home every night for wonderful dinners with your family. I want you to see yourself alive. Don't imagine that you're going to die. Don't in your mind, don't have a mental picture of a dead body in a coffin. You just visualize yourself alive and leave the praying for me. I will pray that the spirit of death will leave you and the healing will come. You just visualize yourself alive. This man started sobbing. He said, yes, pastor, I can see myself alive and well and happy. Immediately, Dr. Cho laid hands on him and said, Holy Spirit, He's now speaking your language. He has a vision and a dream of being alive and well. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command healing to come into him and his body to be made whole. You know, immediately when he prayed that, the power of God filled the entire intensive care unit, the ICU. It was winter. But all of a sudden, it's like the whole room was on fire. It's like somebody switched on the heater. The nurses came in, said, why is this place so hot? Who switched on the heater? It's the fire of the Holy Spirit. Within one week, this man was totally healed, completely healed, and walked out of the hospital totally well by the power of God. Come on, give the Lord a big hand. Somebody shout hallelujah. Today is a successful businessman in the church. That is the power of vision and dream. That's the power of vision and dream. Now to break free from our limitation, how do you come into the rest of faith? We got to number three, believe. Number three, believe. Jesus says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. All things. Not some things. Not only the easy things. But all things are possible. Jesus says again, if only you believe, 
you will see the glory of God.